Hey everyone, it's Tim Corey, and technically right now, I'm on vacation. But at the same time, also wrapping up post-production work on my latest and one of my biggest courses ever. So I figured, let's take a tour of what I do and how I do it. It's a great time for it. So welcome to my office. This is where all the recording work gets done. Yes, it's a little messy looking, but that's because that's how recording gets done. These uh, panels back here, those are for sound damping. I actually have another one over there that is gonna, that comes right next to my desk when I am actually recording video. And here's my setup, here's how it looks for me. So normally on the right is where I record my videos, on the left is the control center. Along with that, I do have right here, this is a newer addition to the family. I'm not sure I've shown this before. This is my Go XLR board. Um, what it does, it controls what gets the audio. So right now we have just the recording getting the audio. That means just my voice, no uh, computer sounds, no music, uh, music and no voice chat. So that's all get, all get controlled by my Elgato. So if we hit the, the normal key here, that changes the faders. That's um, really helpful because I tell you what, um, there's been about three or four videos in this latest course where I had to record the whole course over or hold the video over again because of the fact that I was I was still on this where I listened to it and the recording fader was muted. So that was a problem, um, caused me some some frustration. But that's why I now actually have an additional one that I use where it still records. So I still have recording, but I can also hear through my headphones on both of these channels. Um, this, this little device right here, the Elgato uh, Stream Deck, this is really helpful for doing things like hitting record. Um, this turned my light, lights on, so I'll probably watch the video out, but there's my lights. That's what I'm looking into every time I'm on screen. Um, fortunately, I do most of my screen recording uh, which is just the actual screen, not not me on the camera. Therefore, I don't have those lights on. There's my uh, my Rode mic. That's what sticks right in my face as close as possible. Notice up there's my camera with the teleprompter already loaded. I'm actually getting ready to record kind of the last piece of this new course. And if you haven't noticed already, this is my new course, the Foundation Web Development. This is one that has been on my radar for... I think about two, two and a half years, it, what it comes out of is people say, hey, Tim, um, you know, you start with a foundation in C Sharp, which is great, but I want to be a C Sharp web developer. How do I start on the website? And that's kind of tough because I don't have the starting point. Well, now I do. Um, this is my process I went through for building that out. This is uh, OneNote. This is kind of my brain. This is where I dump all my stuff in. If you're eagle-eyed and you're kind of zooming in there and trying to read all this stuff, you're not going to see everything from here in the final product, but you're going to see a lot. So originally, this course had 12 sections. That's what this list is over here. And it was just my idea, okay, here's the things I think we need in a course. And I kind of threw that out because it just wasn't flowing right, wasn't uh, the right the right pattern, the right way of thinking things through. So I came up with this outline right here. Now this is both the main points as well as each lesson. So this is the uh, section right here, this this group at the top, and then um, you know everything inside the section is a lesson. So I have no longer 12 sections, I have 20. I kept throwing more things in here as I went. And Really, I, I, there's a ton of stuff in here. It's 174 lessons. I spent, oh goodness, probably six weeks of recording, about four weeks of which, about a full month, where I was really recording all the time. You may have noticed that I kind of didn't do as much other stuff. I haven't re released a course in about a month or so, a month and a half, because I've been, actually maybe two months by now, my goodness, it's been a long time. But the reason why I've been recording this course, I've been spending a lot of time making sure I get this right. So I'm really excited to get this launched. I have a whole bunch of bonus stuff as well that I'm gonna give away to people who buy the course, not just rent it through All Access Pass, but actually buy it. That's kind of my thank you to you for making the purchase. This is a significant course, but man, is it gonna be worth it. Um, 
I, if you, have, if you can't tell, I am just so excited to get this launched. I want to get this in your hands as soon as possible. I'll tell you what, I'm going to kind of pause the video right here while I go and finish up the last piece for this course. And there we go. So I just wrapped up the uh, production of this video, or the, my version of the production of this video. I'm going to turn this over to Dan to produce the rest of, but... Uh, it took one about a dozen takes to do. I'm tired. It's late. And um, I'm a perfectionist. So hopefully it's not too bad to film a project. What I'm doing is I'm kind of showing off what this course is about. I'm just super excited. It's hard not to just go on and on and on. I think the first version of the video was about 16 minutes, which was about, oh, 13 minutes longer than we wanted. So and I didn't even finish. There's just so much content here. I can't wait to get it in your hands. I'm looking forward to seeing what your thoughts are on and just how much it transforms your life. So with that, I think I'm going to leave it off here. I'm going to you know, finish up here and go to bed. That's my last real big thing I have to do for this course. So it's time to kind of turn in, kind of relax a little bit, go back to vacation for a bit. Um, and then I'll see you in a couple of days when we launch this course. All right, we'll see you.